so I have been a realtor for 23 years. Um, I am with Remax Executives and I work out of our Alexandria, Virginia office. And I think that as realtors, we have the, um, the confirmation finally that video is where it's at. You know, um, you have to have some type of video presence now in order to continue to be relevant. It has gotten easier um, because I, I think what has also helped is I, I do watch a lot of other agents' videos um, mm -hmm. because I think it, it's helpful to see how other people are doing it and also to help boost your creativity. Another thing that I have noticed um, as a result of COVID is that we as the real estate agent community there is a high spirit of cooperation and collaboration um i mean and that is evident even in the kcm facebook group you know somebody can post i did a video can you give me feedback and so i think as long as you're open to the feedback i think that will help you grow and to create better videos but um agents in the, the communities they are more willing to share and to help you and that has been a great help to me as well yes absolutely and i can tell you i'm still nervous um i think that it is just human nature to be nervous on camera and when I first started, I actually hired a professional videographer. Um, we connected through one of the freelance websites and um, he, the, what he brought to the table was his high level of patience. So the one thing that he did teach me that I'm happy to share is he said, okay, before I hit this record button, I want you to give me this big, loud, strong Vincent Price laugh. And I, I looked at him like, what? What are you talking about? I'm not doing that. <laughs> he said, just trust me, just do it. And so, you know, the Vincent Price laugh is like, ah, 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 You know, it's that laugh that you hear in the Michael Jackson Thriller song. And so I did it and, you know, we both laughed, but I, it helped me to just relax and to not be so stiff. And I think it's helpful when you hit that record button to see you know, yourself starting off with a smile because it shows people that you are friendly, that you are approachable and, you know, you're not all stiff and, you know, it's like, oh, this is only stats and that's it. So I think it's important and that's something that I still do to this day. So I, I do that deep laugh before I hit the record button so that I can come across as friendly, enthusiastic and as personable as possible. Of course. So I would say, first of all, to not get overwhelmed with buying a whole bunch of things because you can do anything with your phone now. Um, back in March, when we first were, uh, when we first entered the shutdown, my first purchase was an upgrade on my iPhone. Um, I had an iPhone 6 Plus. Um, which was, you know, like a really, really large screen. And I upgraded to the iPhone 11 Pro. You know, I did the research. I asked people in multiple Facebook groups and that particular phone just kept coming up over and over. And so I upgraded to the iPhone 11. And if you want to just start on your phone, you can just do video and then edit in iMovie. Um, you can download an app. Um, one of my favorite apps to use is Over, O-V-E-R, and you can edit videos in there. So that is recording and editing on your phone without even bringing anything over to the desktop. Um, another thing that if, if you want to kind of go deeper and do the desktop version of editing, once you download the actual video to your computer, then there is easy to use software like Filmora, and that's F-I-L-M-O-R-A, Filmora, and also there is um, Movavi Video Suite. So I use Movavi, and um, I watch several YouTube videos on how to edit. And if you don't want to do that, you can record your video. You can send it to someone on Fiverr 
which is an online freelancing site, and that's F-I-V-E-R-R. -R. And you can say, hey, edit this video for me. And usually they can do it within a sometimes a 24 hour turnaround, but usually it's a two to three business day turnaround and they may charge you 25 to $50. So it depends on how deep into it. If you wanna just record and send it off, you can do that. Um, but if you, you know, if, if you're kind of pinched for cash and you right now you have to invest your time, then you can do, you can look up several YouTube videos on video editing that it is a surplus of information out there. One piece of advice for someone who is just starting out, I would say focus on your phone first. And then um, I would say, go to the Keeping Current Matters YouTube channel and watch David's November 12th video because it's short, it is concise, and it is a wonderful blueprint for how to kick off your videos. That would be my suggestion.